have Pia Toscano. She's an international vocalist. She started her journey in American Idol, and from there had uh, some mentorship from Jennifer Lopez, um, did the West Side Story on, on Netflix, and now today she's on tour with Andrea Bocelli, if you guys know him, on the world tour, and also simultaneously doing a world tour with David Foster. So, so one of the things that I wanted to touch on and share with audiences here was the fact that you guys hone in on such authenticity to who you are and still maintaining that in Hollywood. So if each of you could share what that means to you and how you manage to keep your authenticity and stay so true to yourself in Hollywood. For me, I would say, um, oh, I was 21 when I first came out here and it wasn't, I didn't make a big move on a leap of faith, I auditioned for a TV show and, you know, luckily made it, but then life changed so rapidly. And, um, and it was a roller coaster. There were so many ups and downs and there wasn't a lot of authenticity. And I just needed to hit some roadblocks to really figure out who I was, find my faith, find my relationship with God. And for me, that's what keeps me grounded. Um, my church oasis, my pastors, Elise, that's here tonight, of course my husband, you know, my family. That's what's real to me. And being able to tell my story my way, not compromising anymore and selling, you know, you don't want to sell your soul, you just have to be who you are, tell your truth. And, um, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm not compromising and I'm just letting God lead the way. This question is gonna point back to Pia. I wanna ask you, one of the things you touch about in the magazine is um, the importance for you and your, your self-love discovery. Yeah. And for some people that haven't yet found that, or maybe they're in the middle or they know somebody who needs yeah. you know, some guidance, how would you you know relate that to them? Well, for me, I, was, I grew up very self-conscious and uh, insecure. And it's something I still battle with today, and it's so hard with social media and, you know, the world, the entertainment industry that you're in to kind of lose yourself a little bit and compare yourself to others. And and that's what ate me alive when I first got into this industry. And I realized that I was sacrificing my happiness because I never felt like I was good enough. And um, I always tried to be better and better and I was not enjoying the moments. And um, the most important thing is to embrace your uniqueness and, you know, your qualities that make you who you are and and that's why people enjoy you and love you is because of your unique authentic qualities if we were all the same and we were all like each other you know we wouldn't be able to share our light so for me it was it's a long journey and something that i have to look in the mirror and remind myself of every day because i always nitpick everything about me and I'm still guilty of wanting to change all those things, but reminding myself that this is the way that God wanted me. And this is the, being my true authentic self is the only way I'm gonna reach other people. I love that, thank you. I know that Pia, you've been working on a new song. You yeah. haven't um, released one in a while. You've yeah. been doing the world tour with Andrea Bocelli, David Foster, but now, you know, coming into your own voice yeah. and um, owning that. We have a little clip we're just gonna, yeah. you know, share. And then afterward, you can tell us where we can uh, hear, it, hear, hear it at. Yes, yeah. yes. So it's called No. Can I, can I explain a little bit before? So I wrote this song with Christy Youngs um, and I really felt it's for anyone that feels silenced in any way. Um, for me, it was my own battle with my own demons, my own self and our sessions became therapy sessions and Krista would really listen to everything that I had to say and she would really encourage me to use my voice because sometimes I'd be like, that's not right, I shouldn't say that. And she really encouraged that part of me to you know, embrace writing and embrace telling my story. And um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those songs that means a lot to me. And, we don't have a release date for it yet. Um, it's something that we're working, we're gonna self-fund and, um, but I think it's a really important message that really needs to be out there. And uh, this is, no. Why, why, why am I caged like a lion? 
for allowing that to happen because, you know, you don't often play little snippets of songs and stuff like that, but it's a very personal song to me, and I, I thank you for letting me have this platform to do that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, their stories will be online, and then you also have copies that you can take with you today. Follow them, their projects. You got to hear about Jillian's new project, Pia's um, you know, new song. So stay connected with them. Michael J. White always doing great things, and just follow them. And um, you know, this is this is a new community that they get to hear you. So thank you. Thank you.